Hello people, and welcome back to part 19 of Novaria, our city's skyline snow build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you for all the support on Sunday's live stream. Uh, we made some nice changes to the city, including introducing uh, some further elevated arterial action using uh, the American, the European six lane bridge from the content creator pack. Can't remember which one it is. But it adds a really nice border and frame to our uh, skyline here. From last episode which you guys really enjoyed as well so thank you for all the support on constructing the various skyline usual sunday jobs came through and introduced another snowman coven uh, under the bridge some uh, shady dealings going on with these snowmen and then also relocated uh, our two university assets introduced a new metro station and worked on a bunch of our rail stuff ready to expand uh, into some more uh, heavier rail vibes as the city grows so we really do appreciate uh, all the support on the Sunday streams, as always. However, in today's episode, it is time to work on a central park. Um, so I haven't built a central park since the build guide, uh, Begusia. Uh, for those hardcore subscribers that are still here, um, <laughs> it's, it's been a while. And I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a collection of public transport and unique buildings. You know, Not forgetting, we are still within our downtown setting, so unique buildings are going to give us a much more customizable and then um, desirable skyline as well, I think. So we've got a big space to work with today. We're basically going to fill this entire rectangle block. And uh, let's see what we can do to put a little central park at the foot of Novaria's skyline, shall we? So I'm just going to start with moving my school of tourism and travel over to the other side of the canal. Because I'm not entirely sure where I want that to fit yet. So immediately, first assets that are jumping out as to what we want to use here. I'm thinking the cathedral, the cinema, the theatre somewhere. We will find a place for the theatre. And then also the music club here as well. So kind of a vibe I want to create is this is something of an older district, right? Kind of, you know, the city has been modernised and upgraded as time has passed. But next to Central Park, there's perhaps a little bit of an old quarter that's just remained... Just that older. The buildings are a little bit 50s looking. A little bit of this red brick still around. And I think we can generate a nice vibe with these here today. So let's uh, have a little look at how this is going to sit, shall we? So we'll start out with our cathedral. And we'll have this up at the head. Now I'm thinking that we will uh, also place in another unique building here of the Winter Market. Now it doesn't centralise outside of the cathedral uh, to the tile. But I think we can... You can't really tell in the grand scheme of things from most angles, unless you're kind of sat directly here. You can't really tell, but I think this will work nicely uh, for, for what we want it to do. So we'll start with that. Let's draw in some supporting roads. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves an arterial, and we'll snap to the road guideline, leaving... I think we'll go for three tiles. We are going to downgrade this road anyway, and then we'll take out our supporting structure from the frame episode there. Then let's drop this on. Okay. I want to downgrade this to a smaller road. Now, I want this to be uh, super, super flamboyant. <laughs> this, this park. Uh, lots of trees and patted decorations. So we can now bring a little path border around our winter market. Of course, just snapping into the grid. We'll hopefully start to see something a little nicer start to generate outside this way. Okay. So again, lots of trees. It's going to be a very, very spicy episode today, I think. There is um, no such thing as too much tree spice today. I think is a take-home point. So we could feed in some kind of shattered angle roads here. Which I think will be nice. Maybe generate this into a one-way system. I definitely want um, a tram flowing through the Central Park as well. So we'll probably bring in a new tram line uh, down here to kind of serve down this way. I think that's what we'll do. We'll try anyway. Okay, so of course, one of the most important Central Park assets is the Central Park itself, um, which is a really good looking asset. It's very cool. And again, there's a few things that we can do with this today. So let's see. I think we'll probably place it about here. All right. We'll start to see these really kind of heavy park vibes start to develop now. Okay, we'll start to see some heavier Parkland forming 
around this skyline now. So let's jump back into uh, the world of landmarks because there's some more assets in here that are going to work quite tremendously uh, for developing this Central Park vibe. And this is the Panda Sanctuary and the Temple Complex alongside the Traffic Park. So there's a few different kind of orientation angles we can maybe move these two in. So let's first of all take a look at the asset. Okay, so of course it has some very strong Asian vibes. These kind of look like pagodas, right? I think that's what they're called. Like pagodas in Japan where they have a little kind of accent on the roof. The next up is a temple complex. Again, kind of a very similar looking asset and probably deserves to be partnered uh, right next door to the panda sanctuary. Okay. Now again, it's always... The orientation is always our best friend, right? So why don't we... Try and have a little flick around here. Change up some angles. And then when we do have these spaces that develop between the assets, this is a great opportunity to come through with some nature reserve fence with decoration. And then we can start to develop uh, some walking pathways to keep people moving around the park. So another asset here that's going to work quite nicely for us it's going to be the snowboarding arena. Now I think what we'll do is introduce uh, some Green Cities car parks out the front. And then we can place this in. So this is just one of our snow unique buildings, the uh, snowboard arena. I think it's going to work really quite nicely for settling into kind of our winter market central plaza here, right outside the cathedral. And it's also going to add to our skyline as well, especially when we're kind of looking at it from the canal side. We're going to be getting our metro going past it too. So I think we can get away with having the snowboard arena in here. And then there is already someone enjoying the slopes, it would seem. Oh, there he, <laughs> there he goes, just sliding, <laughs> sliding around the corner. All right, very cool. So uh, let's get a little green cities district set up. Uh, we will need to actually remove uh, the central park district and then repaint a new one. And of course we'll do uh, a little bit of... Uh, repeated Green Cities uh, car park zoning. Okay, so let's have a look at introducing uh, a new tramway system here. So I think I'm just going to run with uh, a one-way system to flow around the edge of the central park. And if we come into our grid, uh, we can actually snap perfectly uh, with some one-way tramway-only lines here to just kind of circle the central park. So um, quite an unnecessary public transport system, purely because... You know, it's a distance they will walk, and there's already trams here. But having trams flow around the Central Park is definitely an aesthetic that I'm after here. So we'll see how it works. And we want to partner this with another unique as well. So let's dive back into the ones that we had a look at. So we were quite keen on the theatre as well. There is also, um, there's another Christmas market as well, like the Christmas tree, like, you know, all Christmas trees spawn from the Christmas tree, right? But I think this is kind of a... It's basically like a small town version of this one, isn't it? So we might save this for one of our rural builds. But I'm not neglecting it, so... <laughs> so don't worry. I have, I have uh, thoughts about that one. So if we were to place the theatre here... I don't think that's the right position for it. Now, it'll be too deep to orientate to this side, won't it? Yeah, just by a tile, but that's fine. So I think what we'll do is uh, place it here. It's going to help decorate this arterial as well, especially once it's got some nice kind of gardens and uh, maybe some European assets around it as well. We might do some European zoning today. Okay. And then it's nice about where we want this to flow, so we can possibly bring out... The tram system to flow through this way. And then we'll upgrade this into tram road. This one. And then we'll bring it out the front of the stadium. And then from here, it can resume its tram only track. Um, which I think should help give the Central Park a nice, um, a really nice aesthetic seeing this public transport integrated into it as well. So we'll come with a little freeform tool. And let's make sure that we complete this tram line now. Let's bring it down here. And then, again, I guess there's no need for this to be road. Oh yes, there is, because it's connected to the asset. 
Okay, that's fine then. Uh, let's just go for regular roads. Like that in there. Wonderful. Cool. So we are right-hand drive, so we want to make sure that the trams are flowing around to the right. And then we'll develop a nice little kind of tram garden here, I suppose. And then I get the, the tram interchange hooked up. We'll need to make this one tram road so the the trams can actually come down. And then let's let's get them flowing. So we'll have... It would be nice to have the stop outside the stadium, but also have it kind of off-centre with this one. I think that's what we'll do. And then we really want them to stop on these tram only roads. Create a couple of little destinations for them. Let's get another one in here as well. And then we can complete the line. And we should hopefully see some trams popping out as the downtown burns to the ground. Let's change our line colour. Maybe go for perhaps a nice yellow, almost like a golden tram, right? We'll see. Alright, very cute. We're going to start seeing these trams move around the Central Park. Of course, linking all these stops with uh, the main arterial as well, so uh, people can walk back and forth. But otherwise, not too bad. Fairly happy with that, I think. Okay, so let's have a look at the music club, because I want this in here as well. So they will actually fit perfectly next to the to the, uh, the theatre. Now, can you refuse an opportunity like that, I wonder? Possibly a lot better facing into the square, though, wouldn't it? We kind of came out this way, right? Can use it to decorate with this corner, too. And we will name our little central square here after one of our wonderful Patreon subscribers. Thank you so much for the support, Mehmet. You are a real secret blend of herbs and spices, mate. I really do appreciate that support. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon, there are ways to do so down below. Okay, so let's change it up to European, and then let's start introducing uh, some organic zoning and seeing what we think of it. So let's have a look at the noise pollution. Pretty substantial <laughs> around the unique buildings, so we're going to have to go with high-density commercial. So I think we can certainly get away with it. It's um, They definitely blend in, right? Can I look at this one here with the, with the theatre? It's definitely a style we can pull off. I'm kind of blending into the skyline here. It's not too bad. Get those little blemishes of red brick every now and again, which I think help with that generating what we want. Okay, so just a tiny, tiny little bit. Nothing too crazy. And around the cathedral, maybe not. Don't think it particularly works there, but we'll just leave this to sit and then see how we feel as we carry on with the build. Uh, so there is a couple of other kind of parky uniques. Um, we do have uh, the bird and bee haven. So let's see, again, what we can do to possibly accommodate this. So even within the build, we want to make sure that we maintain those layers of height, right? So with this smaller asset, why don't we plant this uh, right up and against our train line, or tram line even, which we're seeing some people pick up now as well to get around the Central Park. Get some people walking back and to from Canal of Area also. Be interesting to see how many people grab that, but we'll of course save that for our detailing time lapse. Now there is also Lungs of the City, which is, I think, unanimously agreed as one of the harder uniques to actually use. And I think it's because we can't change the tree. If we had the option, kind of like with the forestry assets, to change the appearance of the unique, might make it a little more tolerable, but we're not using redwoods anywhere in the city. And then, all of a sudden, <laughs> there's just a massive uh, cluster of redwoods. Okay, and then there is also possibly the Pyramid of Safety, um, which could be used in a central park build, I guess. But it just kind of looks a little bit weird left here to its own devices. I think we'll have to possibly centralise this with something a little more important, maybe. Maybe use this towards the transport hub, because I think this would pair uh, quite nicely with uh, the glass box train station. Which is accepting intercity trains now as well, so... 
few more people arriving through this method. But we're starting to see that kind of um, grander park shape uh, take shape now, right, I suppose. Is that the take home point here? But we can see this commercial uh, integrating a little nicer now with our cathedral. I think I'm fairly happy with this aesthetic, right? Let's make sure we continue to back some people onto here as well. Get some more heavy commercial vibes around here. I think these European assets are going to be uh, huge in kind of moulding this all together, right? So just a little old town quarter within the various downtown is there. The take-home point from the inclusion of these uniques, I think. I think it's coming together. So I think what we will do here is bring a little extension of Canal of Area into the central part, just to help merge the two areas together. Because, of course, we are coming into some kind of older build territory now. So we'll come onto our road guideline, and then we'll allow these two to snap in. Now, I have deleted the train line here. So we're going to have to find a place for this to come back in. So we'll trim up a little bit of canal. There'll probably be some extreme <laughs> temporary flooding. That's going to be fine. Don't worry about that. Okay. And then it allows us to carry on um, extending canal of area out from this point here now. Um, if we wanted to, can we bring in a road connection onto the tram line here so people can walk back in two. And then there's possibilities as well, I think, for some... Yeah, some 4x4 patterns here, so we come out by 200. We can definitely continue to expand Canal of Area in this fashion. Come out by 240 this side as well. Now we probably want to specifically zone these, which I think we do, so let's take those out as well. Okay. So now with the train line, let's see what we can do to uh, reintroduce this back into society. It's probably going to be easier if I don't have this road connection here, actually. Okay, so we now have our train line tucked in through the Central Park, uh, which gives us some really nice decoration opportunities here. And then also the extension of a little green city's battery. And of course, our train line uh, will just want uh, reconnecting at the opposite end. Make sure that we're stopping down here again as well. And we should now see some trains flow through here, which would be a nice aesthetic, I think. Kind of decorate this island with some overgrown kind of oil fence and whatnot, and some general kind of train vibes. We have a severed a connection out of the downtown to accommodate this, but, you know, of course, there are kind of plenty more ways in and out of the downtown uh, for people to make use of, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And it is snowing over Central Park now, which is cute. And we did turn the snow on for the live streams, but if it becomes too much of a horrific sight to look at uh, during the episodes, then uh, do let me know. Okay, so I think now where we have uh, some of these little pockets of just kind of dead space, right? Let's come back onto our road length and angle so we can uh, do this without the shattered zoning. Okay, so I think what I want to do with these little little tiny areas is develop uh, some micro parks uh, using stuff from the zoo and city park stuff, maybe some of the theme park assets as well. So we'll place this here. Now, it's not going to be like, you know, Navaria's main zoo. We will eventually come to that build uh, at some point when we want to. But for the central park, I'm thinking maybe just a couple of the larger assets here and there. So I think a Moose and Reindeer enclosure is going to work really nicely as a, an inclusion of the Central Park asset. So just having it up against the infrastructure, I'm not bothered about making money out of these small little park areas. We also have a birdhouse too. So why don't we try and place this next to our Moose and Reindeer enclosure. We also have antelopes as well, which I think will work uh, nicely tied into the, the Pills of the East assets as well. So I think we can get on board with them. Okay. I think I also want to downgrade this road into just tram only. At least for a section. So turning that into tram only road does sever the asset connection, but that's fine. And we can just draw in pathways to accommodate these instead. So just a little 
collection of these little spots, right? We'll see what else we can get in. Now, if this is enough to hit level 2, probably won't be, I don't think. Actually, yes, it is. And um, so when we do hit level 2, we might include some of the other ones. We do get the reptile house, and there's bison as well. Uh, flamingos, and then don't really get into elephants and the lions and stuff. Just kind of keep it uh, undangerous animals, if you like. <laughs> that will sit within the central park here. But uh, I think, you know, using unique buildings amalgamated with a little bit of public transport and some kind of very basic zoo assets that can really help to us develop a much more unique uh, central park, which I'm hoping is kind of coming across here. Now, the European zoning, I think, overall, I am on board with it. <laughs> I think, I think there's a little thing here. Can we draw in a connection there? So, yeah, a fairly pointless road connection, maybe even dirt. Maybe even dirt road. Might upgrade a few of these into dirt as well. Um, just so it looks like pathway. Rather than road. Undecided yet though, clearly. Let's leave it as trees for right now. <laughs> we'll uh, play with that during our detail and time lapse. And then again, there's another opportunity there for just a larger European asset to help box out that theme. Okay. Develops along here now too. That should reconnect in. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad, I don't think. So I'll do something similar with this asset now as well. Um, it is a shame that these road guidelines are literally out by uh, just a tile either side, but that's fine. We're centralising off of the cathedral, so everything else will have to kind of bend to the cathedral's whim. But that's fine though. We can just connect in with pathways here and develop a little bit of a. A walkable space uh, to happen over here. But how's our little central champ plaza doing now? Again, lots of uh, decoration opportunities out here for uh, kind of a nice garden to sit out front of our our cathedral. But otherwise, I'm fairly happy with the vibe that's developing. I will probably uh, continue to place in some uh, part life assets over here. Now we could get into amusement park stuff and wait for a level 5 amusement area to get kind of the ferris wheel. That might look quite nice. And we do also have uh, the London Eye, which kind of has a very similar aesthetic, right? If you want that kind of ferris vibe, then uh, the, the London Eye will do a job. But I think I want to use it over on my waterfront. Oh, no. <laughs> Downtown is burning. That's fine. Yeah, maybe use it over here, a little bit on the waterfront, I think. So probably, it, it does kind of work though, in the central park, I'm sure. It'll probably be a stream adjustment if we do include it, but do let me know your thoughts and feelings below on the inclusion of the London Eye within the central park itself. So one of the final uniques that we wanted to look at today was the cinema. Again, I think we can... Do something nice with this. Let's place it on the corner for right now. Now, I kind of want all these older European looking assets to face into this central plaza here. So, I think we can get away with the cinema. And then perhaps some um, actual snow park stuff as well. Possibly a um, skating rink next door. Maybe um, a curling park or something else behind. One of these little snowman ones, perhaps. Maybe a, a couple of these. Okay, and then we'll definitely do some more of these. Um, perhaps like a little battery of a uh, of snowman park, if we like. If we want to come down with our road with decorations. Let's see what we can do to accommodate this in. So like a kind of a, a dedicated skiing area, if you like. So if we were to come out here, and then place in two more, okay, so just a little um, quad, a quadruplet I guess, of uh, back to back ice rinks will give us kind of a grander ice rink feel, and it certainly serves a nice purpose looking out into that central plaza as well over here. So some very strong uh, snow vibes I'm getting today. 
And I think the idea has kind of come off. <laughs> I think it looks alright anyway. As always, it will certainly look a lot better once it's detailed, and that does feel like a wonderful place for a detailing time lapse. We have an absolute ton of path work to do at linking people uh, back into. Just realise these guys don't have access to services, so they won't get any garbage collection. There we go. <laughs> that is why. Um, okay. Yeah, I will find a road connection for these to be re-established into. Um, probably just upgrade this. Uh, into tram road is going to be the most sensible option i think isn't it and then feed them back into here yeah okay yeah so a ton of path work to do i wonder how many people <laughs> were screaming about that yeah these don't have collection um yeah a ton of path work to do lots of trees uh, and then some nice kind of uh tram outside cathedral and winter market rock gardens to develop lots of heavily repeated patterns and some organic uh green belt as well and of course, the cinematics now looking across our central park into the skyline uh, should be uh, something to savour, especially during night time, I'm sure. But otherwise, let's detail up and then see what we look like come at the end, shall we? Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares below are always appreciated and really do help feed my algorithm. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really happy with this and the inclusion of Navaria's first European zoning. I think it fits in quite nicely around the head of the cathedral, which of course is centred around the winter market alongside the music club, theatre, cinema and snowboarding arena. A really nice combination of assets and styles I think. And it's nice to use some of the pearls of the East DLC uh, stuff too. They fit in really nicely alongside the main Central Park asset and uh, this is a really nice build up to that eventual crescendo of the skyline which of course we worked on last episode as well. There was an absolute ton of detailing in this episode and you guys wouldn't have seen it all so do hang around for the nighttime cinematics which I'm sure will look tremendous heading up to that skyline but otherwise I will shut up and I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching and as always Enjoy the rest of your day.